This is a quick video talking about the first episode of the new Netflix show, Dahmer. The official title is Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story. A little bit of a mouthful, but uh, just, um, let's call it Dahmer, because that's what they show. Now, there's been about um, 350 Jeffrey Dahmer movies, um, as there is with every uh, serial killer. You know, our fascination with serial killers is a, quite an American thing, and it, I'm part of it. I, I like true crime, as you know, and I sure do like these kinds of things. Uh, so I was kind of like, what What are they going to do different? What's going to be the catch here? Because I've seen this kind of stuff before. I don't really need another one. Or maybe they'll do it better? Who knows? The ones I've seen before were okay. TV kind of movies and things. Well, I gave this a shot. And uh, I just decided to... I didn't want to look anything up about it. I knew it was coming out. I knew that Evan Peters was going to play Jeffrey Dahmer. I just I didn't want to look at reviews or nothing. I just wanted to go in and watch... Watch it. So I watched one episode and just a touch of, of the second, but I'm just going to review the first one. And the reason I want to do that is I'm going to tell you straight up that this is very good, uh, at least the first episode. It's a 10-episode show, and each episode is a, around an hour. So it's a little bit longer than um, your standard Netflix show, I guess. Normally they're around eight episodes or so, and those true crime ones are starting to get shorter, which is good. So we'll see how that goes, but... The reason I'm only reviewing the first one, or I specifically only watched one episode, is because um, I've seen um, I've seen a lot of shows that have an outstanding first episode and then just totally nosedive. So I can't comment on the quality of the rest of the show, but you know the first episode was so good that even if the rest of the show isn't good, I would still be satisfied. There are some shows like that that I've seen where the first episode is just so unbelievably good that um, it's fine, you know? Like, the first episode of this show was so great that I would legitimately go back and watch it again, even if the rest was terrible. It's that good. It would be a great watch. So, I had no clue that this was made by uh, Ryan Murphy. Um, I didn't know that until I loaded and fired the show up. How do I feel about Ryan Murphy? Mm, a little conflicted. Ryan Murphy's got a very particular style. He largely deals, and if, I'm going to say if you don't know Ryan Murphy, he largely deals with horror stuff or crime-related things. And he has this bizarre combination of horror and um, campiness. It's, it's hard to describe. He often... Uh, does shows with like gay characters and stuff. That's kind of his, you know, that's his like niche on TV. And uh, that's just his thing. Uh, and it's kind of cool sometimes to have a campy horror kind of thing. American Horror Story was made by him, which was a very campy, often ridiculous show that could be scary and frightening at times and uh, some great horror, to be honest. And it's just an interesting thing. You 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 rarely with him get straight up horror. There's always some sort of like ridiculous, campy. Sometimes he puts singing in his shows, and well, he did Glee, but you know that's he's more so gravitated towards that these days. So the other thing with him, in my opinion, is that he's not very good at maintaining quality throughout a show. I find most of his shows nosedive in quality. I don't know why. Uh, this is just a thing with him. Um, American Horror Story, I often felt... Uh, of the seasons I've seen, I believe I've seen five seasons, they often started out great and then just nosedived. Um, or nose dove, however you say that. Um, some of his true crime ones, too, um, start out great and then get bad. So he, to me, feels like a director writer that isn't great, or at least doesn't have a great track record for maintaining quality. So as soon as I saw his name, I got worried. And I thought, what the fuck is he going to do here? Is this going to be Jeffrey Dahmer tap dancing or something like that? Because that might be kind of funny to see. But I want to see something, like, terrifying, you know? We know who Dahmer is. He was a terrifying son of a gun. So, yeah. So I said, all right, geez, I'll watch it. And like I said, probably three times already, it was excellent. And to be honest with you, I thought it was scary. Now, again, I've said this before, I'm not trying to be a tough guy. I've just, I love horror and I watch it all the time, all year round. I've seen everything. I've seen terrible, terrible horror movies. When I say terrible, I mean really graphic, you know, like really, really strongly graphic. Um, this was excellent and it was scary. 
it was kind of terrifying to be honest with you. Um, I mean, I wasn't like closing my eyes, but it, 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 it creeped me out. Um, so there, there's a very scary sensibility to this first episode. And to be honest with you, if you're not good with horror, there's no way you'll be able to watch this. this there's no way. Okay. And I kind of almost find it funny because I, you know, Ryan Murphy's quite popular and I think people might see this and say, oh, Ryan Murphy. Yeah. Uh, Glee, you know, American Horror Story. Yeah. He's great. I like him. Uh, I like horror sometimes. I'll watch it. You're going to shit your pants. I'm not kidding. It's, it's really terrifying. Uh, it's definitely the scariest thing I think he's ever done. Um, and primarily because this first episode takes place kind of through the point of view of one of his, um, victim, not his victim, but what was supposed to be his victim, which was a guy named Tracy. And I'm, I shouldn't say spoilers because this is a real thing that happened. Um, but a guy that led to his capture, he kid, he brought a guy and was going to kill him. And the guy got away, got the police and they arrested him. And so this first episode deals with that. And I did look and the rest of the show apparently deals with things through the eyes of the victim. And that makes it scarier because this episode, he brings him back and they just recreate the whole thing. I mean, I don't even think they cut much. I mean, we weren't there, of course, but it's in real time. Uh, it is actually in real time. And uh, holy smokes, that's a scary thing. And I mentioned this earlier. I was watching a show called I'll Be Gone in the Dark. It's a documentary about a serial killer. I mentioned this in one of my other videos recently. And that really creeped me out because they, they talked about the, what it's like to be with somebody like that in real life. And how oftentimes, because we watch so much of this kind of stuff, we get desensitized to it. And shows will gloss over these details. And, you know, like I said in the other one, I'm paraphrasing, but yeah, so, so he came in, he raped me, he, he did this, he did that, he stabbed me, he left. You know, they kind of tell you what happened. But they don't really tell you what happened, right? And of course, they wouldn't want to relive that. But to think this horrible thing that could happen might be 30 minutes long or 45 minutes long or whatever. I think it was probably a good 40 minutes or so of content. At least 30 to 35 minutes totally of this scene, basically. So you're really getting things happening in real time. And because it's kind of through the, view, the eyes of this potential victim, or, well, really a victim, which I shouldn't say potential victim. This guy was a victim for sure. He just didn't die. Uh, that makes it way more horrifying to me that we're seeing this play out in real time because you, you feel like you're there. And uh, yeah, it was really, it really creeped me out. I hope that they can keep that vibe going. This is a very macabre show and I do not recommend it for everybody. Uh, I don't. It's just really terrifying, and it's quite graphic. Um, I was kind of glad that they went that far, because uh, I, yeah, I've just never seen Ryan Murphy do shit like this before. He's done some crazy shit before, but not like this. Let's talk about Evan Peters, okay? Uh, I like Evan Peters, okay. Uh, I wouldn't say he's like a phenomenal actor that I love, um, but he's always been probably one of the better actors in American Horror Story, I think he's okay, and I think he was good in that. He was really good in this. Um, and it's clear he did a lot of research and work. Uh, he's got the accent down. He's got the creepy vibe down. He just kind of personified Dahmer. And I was very impressed with his performance, okay? we'll see Again, we'll see where this goes, but I was very impressed. Overall, very surprised, happily surprised by the show. I was thinking it was going to be... Eh, I'll watch a couple episodes and we'll see. I was very impressed. And also, Peters is the right age to play Dahmer. And it's funny because in my head I'm thinking Evan Peters. I mean, I still think he looks young to me. I'm thinking Evan Peters is like in his young 20s. You know, he's like in his early 20s. And I'm thinking of him from, you know, 10, 12 years ago from American Horror Story. Evan Peters is pushing 40 years old. I had no freaking idea. Uh, time flies. So, yeah, he's the right age. Um... There was a, a, a touch uh, of, of weak acting. Uh, Nisi Nash from Reno 911 was in this as his neighbor. If you if you would you would know who I'm talking about if you are familiar with the case. Um, 
and she was okay. Niecy Nash is an okay actress. And there was a there was a touch of some weak acting here and there. Um, what was his name? Um, Richard Jenkins was in this, who played his father. If you've seen Step Brothers, Richard Jenkins is the dad in that. He was great. Um, yeah, this overall was great. I, I Again, I can't comment on the whole show. I'll let you know. Um, but if you want just a quick review, quick review of the first episode it was really excellent and you know me i'm a tough critic i really enjoyed it but again it's awfully graphic and it's it's quite uh quite strong on the terror aspect i would call this of a terror not so much like oh it's scary it's terrifying okay it's gonna it, it chills down your spine kind of thing so yeah, uh, good job, Brian Murphy. Uh, I don't know if he wrote this or not. I, I actually had some trouble finding that out. Uh, I, I, he didn't direct it, so maybe that's why I liked it so much. Um, we'll see. Um, I'll let you know. Eh, peace out.